Welcome to PTS again. And I'm back. Yeah. 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 We got some videos for you today. Yeah. 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 Hi, I'm Taylor Williams, and tonight we're going to turn that PTN couch around. We're going to find out what's on the other side of the backs of those heads that we've all come to know and love. Ryan Dapp Dappermont and Dane Nielsen have been savagely ripping apart student projects for many months now. Well, tonight, they're going to get a dose of their own medicine. That's right, tonight we're going to turn that all-seeing, all-knowing, investigative eye of reporting back onto them and take an in-depth look into PTN. With me tonight is Dane Nielsen, Ryan Depp, Deppermont, and then on my other side we have Aaron Micah Kafka and Aaron Bundra. So, the two of you are hosting PTN, is that correct? That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah. And Depp, if I, if I remember correctly, you were not always the, the co-host, is that right? That's correct. Um, originally it was this girl uh, named Dana, and uh, she's sadly no longer with us, and uh, so they asked me to do it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was quite tragic, actually. Um, Dana, sorry to say, um, got a serious case of and she could no longer do the show. That is, that is really tragic. It was sad. It, it really was really was. sad. I was looking forward to working with her. Yeah. I really was. See, but the two of you, I think, have melded very, very nicely and, uh, and have really got this show down to an art form. Yeah, well, we melded you, very you. well. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So one of, one of, I think, the parts of this show that gives you the most chance for, for personal artistic expression is the show opening. Mm. Oh, the show How, opening. That is, is key. It, that is key. What is it, it is. that inspires you in the show opening each week? Um, well, we really just kind of, it's kind of improv, you know? It, it's, it's, a little, yeah, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We kind of just together, go. It's just it on, on the fly, yeah. we just make it happen. Yeah, you know? make it happen. It's, a, uh, it's trying to be funny. It can't be taught, really. No. No, it's magic. It's, it's a gift. It's magic. It's a gift and we have it. Right. You can't have it. No. Clearly, no. I don't have it. Correct. Right. But I'm glad that you have it. Because oh, you're too. the ones that are hosting this show. And in fact, I'd like to take a second and go ahead and, uh, and look at some of those show openings right now. All right. All right. It's the show where I take your student films, throw them up on the big screen, sit on the couch, and tear them apart. And then afterward, I talk to the filmmakers and say, hey, what the heck were you thinking? And uh, so tonight's show, we got a couple of things going on. What are we going to yeah, show tonight? We, we got some great stuff tonight. We got uh, The Adventures of Fat Boy, uh -huh. Suspects, and I believe Crying Stoppers. Oh, yeah. Should there we go. Fun. So, stay back, tuned. Relax. Nielsen. And I'm co host, Dap. We have a great show for you tonight. Tonight, we have a whole bunch of 370 projects, and it's going to be our O to 370. And we also have a world premiere, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned. We're going to see the first ever premiere of a TC270 project tonight. It's going to be amazing. It comes from the brilliant mind of Mr. Taylor Williams. Uh, like Dane here said, this is an exclusive. Nobody else has this footage. Yeah. This is us. So all you, stay tuned on your couch. Grab some popcorn, a soda, or another healthy snack. Right on. Whoa! -ho -ho. Welcome to another edition of PTN. I'm Dane. And I'm Dap. And tonight we got a whole new crap load of crap to rip apart. Action packed crap, to be exact. Whoa, Dap, aren't your craps always action packed? Indeed they are, sir. Yeah, I bet they are. We also got our video expert in. She's going to do something with experting videos. That's correct. That's our house video expert, Erin Bundra. Bundra, to baby. Be a yeah. Promising segment I love tonight. It. I love it. And then we got our we got our token Asian kid, Nathan, coming in. He's going to do a little enter Vizzle with us. That's correct. Yeah, he that did a couple correct. of the shows tonight. That he is, that he is. He's in two of the projects that we're ripping tonight. All right, man, I can't wait. So stay tuned. We got a great show for you. Indeed, indeed. Look at the eyes. Ooh, mm, crazy. Hey, welcome to PTN. I'm Dane, and this is my co-host, Dap. 
Okay, and we have a great show for you tonight. We have a couple of videos from Clint, and then we're going to talk to him, and then we're going to go and look at some of these videos by Chris, Ben, and Shane. All right, guys, stay tuned. It's going to be a great show. Hi, welcome to PTN. I'm Dap, and this is Dane, and this is a vacuum cleaner. Dane, do you have any idea what the similarities are between this vacuum cleaner and the stuff we show on PTN? You know what, Dap? I have no idea. Why don't you share it with our viewers what that might be? All right. They both suck. <clears throat> what kind of shows do we have on for today? Oh, uh, we have a whole bunch of shows for you today. We're jumping outside of Pepperdine. We're going outside the United States. And we have one from Hong Kong. It's true. We also have a video filmed in Thai. In Thai. So... I have no idea what the heck they're saying. And neither will you. Exactly. Hey, whatever. We've also uh, we've got one uh, entitled uh, Manomena. Manomena. Is that right? That how speaks for itself. It? Manomena. Um, so that'll be fun to watch. Yeah. yeah I'm well. looking forward to that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, see, I think it's going to be a pretty good show. I think it's going to be. Uh, okay. So the show opening is a very, very important part of the show. It's, it sets mm -hmm. the tone for the entire rest of the episode. Yeah. And uh, as I said before, you two have this down to an absolute art. And I know that I asked you this before, but I'd like you to go ahead and, and expound a little bit upon what, where do you get your, uh, your inspiration for this? Okay, go ahead. You know, really, it's a, it's, a team, it's a team effort. You know, prior to the show, we have to come up with something that... Uh, you know, that'll introduce the show, you know, set the stage for, you know, to try and be funny. Often times we're not, but, uh, you know, the, the intro. The intro, it's a good, uh, it's a good way to, to get things going for the day. That's right, that's right. Now, on the intro, I've noticed that, uh, that you've been M&Ms and monkeys and... And a stick figure. And stick, right, stick figure. figures are very important. And, nice. um, and Depp, I, I just noticed that you, you appear to have a British accent, um, but you don't in most of the shows. Now, now you've done monkey. Um, so is, is this American accent that you put on for the show, is, is there a reason that you go for that? Um, well, the producers of the show um, were afraid that people wouldn't really be able to understand me and they wouldn't, be able to, um, wouldn't really be able to relate with me if I'm, if I'm uh, with an English accent. So they said go ahead and try to be as, uh, as American as you can, like MTV and Coca-Cola and you know, whatnot. Do you feel that that affects your personality during the show? Um, I think I think I uh, I probably become a bit of a bit of a punk, yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of punks, I mean your your co-host here, Dane. Well, he can just be downright nasty on some of these sh on some of these shows. Dane, what what's up with that? Well, you know, uh, the whole premise of the show is that we're watching a bunch of, <laughs> and to talk about, <laughs> you have to say some stuff about, <laughs> and oftentimes that <laughs> kind of <laughs> nasty. He's a bloody <laughs> wanker. Now, do do you? Do you really feel that that's absolutely necessary? You know what? Sometimes things are so bad, you just got to go with it. And that's how I feel. Well, let's, let's look at it, exactly how bad some of this actually is. I mean, you complain about that terrible accent. The oh, my God. Here so Horrible. Small? Oh, you didn't. Oh. oh, she has no idea what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It's my cousin. Wow, he's pissed. Dude, I'd be so pissed. At least not the lamp over. I would have kicked the other guy. Yeah. There, there was no ring in that box. Cheap ass. You see that? That uh, yeah. is going to be cheating on you with Micah Kafka. Micah, man. I wouldn't let him near my girlfriend. No, me either. Look at this monster. Oh, 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 oh yeah. You, you can do it. You You're going it. down. I know, I know. She's intense. You can do it. I know. Hey, that's what the script said. Any other, any other way, you know, I would have kicked the crap out of that girl. I do it all the time. I tell you, there was a horrible, horrible mess in there, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I kind of used a toothbrush to clean it. Jackass. Yeah. It's, it's clean now. Yeah. See, in that case, someone's, someone's in line for, uh, for a whooping. Yeah. As we say in the. I, if my roommate did that, I'd kick his ass. Yeah. No. I, I mean, come on. Well, I don't want to bring in the racial thing, but this is why white people do not dance, for one. See, you said it. it you said it. I know. I said, I'm sorry. I just, I thought I'd throw that out there. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't on the Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, she didn't have the subtitles. She's trying to figure it out. She, oh. I mean, she didn't even understand Thai. She's okay. like, what the heck is this? Got it. It's like, you b****. Like, I mean, I don't really, send me something in English, for God's sake. Jeez.
All right, so Dane can just be downright nasty sometimes. In fact, in fact, Micah, I, I think Dane said some pretty nasty stuff about you right there, about about your role in in the project that I did. How do you feel about that? I like it. You like it? It doesn't bother you that um that he wouldn't let his sister anywhere near you. He doesn't have much of a choice in that, does he? Oh, I guess don't not. That, Mike. I now, don't because I don't have a sister. Now, huh? Dane, how how do you feel about about putting <laughs> Things like this on television, having this image of you out there that you're such a mean person. Well, you know what? I really feel, you know, the, the, the 10, 15 people who are going to watch this aren't going to take it to heart. And if they do, you know what? Some of your stuff is not so good. And, I, you know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. That's just how it is. I think Dap would agree with me. I agree. I agree. And I didn't thing, make it. Yeah, the funny thing is that actually uh, I'm the dirtiest mouth this side of Big Ben. I mean, I f it's every day, it's every other yes. thing out of my mouth. It's bloody this, it's and this, it's this. It, just, it doesn't matter. Everything I say, you know, every other sentence has got in it yeah. or something, you know. It's, it's, it's British. It's what, it fucks you know, a lot. It's, it's what we do. But does that come across on the show? Um, no, it's one of the things that uh, they, it's one of the character things that the producers wanted Dane to be the, the hard, you know, and I had to be a pansy, I guess. Now, you're not exactly a pansy. I mean, you definitely have a chance on the show to, uh, to say some, some very uh, uh, scathing remarks. In fact, I think, uh, I think we have a reel of your, of your being mean as well. Oh, so, well, good, good. Beautiful. I'd like to see so it. So here beautiful. we go. This is yes. Dap being mean. I'd like to see it. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think you're cut out to be a stuntman. I don't think you're cut out to be an actor, sir. Uh, wait, here. So wait, does, does suck increase when uh, more people who suck are at it? Or, or is it not quantified? That's a great, that's a great question, and I, we need to figure that one out. I don't know. We might be able to ask. Yeah. See you next week when we will be showing you how gravity works. Respect. No. How gravity works. I refuse to respect. No. And I won't be back next yes. week to see you terrible, yes. terrible, no, terrible. Not at all. Boo. <laughs> Boo, I say. That was funny. All right. That was really. So, so see, Dap, Dap can be mean too now. As you said, the producers wanted you to play a, a different role on this show than, uh, than Dane's mean side, and, and that tends to make you more of a sensitive individual. So how does that come across? Well, um, I'm, I'm definitely a bit more sensitive sometimes, and uh, it was hard. It was a bit of a stretch, but um, I, do have a, I do have a bit of a softer side, you know? So uh, I just I tapped into my, uh, my inner, inner four-year-old, you know, and really uh, tried to bring it out. Bring it out in the show. So what, what do you do to tap into this inner four-year-old uh, to come up with this sensitive side? Um, well, I think you'll see one clip soon um, where I cried, actually. I, I was in tears. And um, that's because while we were watching um, the, the clip, I was, I was actually hitting myself in the testicles. Um, and it worked. It worked really well, actually. Right. I, was, I teared up <laughs> right quick. It was nice. Did that hurt? Um, of course. That's why, that's why I was crying. You are a cruel, cruel individual. It's for the love of the show. That's what it is, Mike. It is. Dane, how can you sit here while, while your partner is just abusing himself in the seat right next to you and not, and not do anything? You know what? I mean, there's something about being professional. If that's how he wants to get into character and, and, and put on that image, you know what? Beat your testicles as much as you want. That's why I like this guy. That's why I like this guy. He really exactly. understands me. You exactly. Know? We're like this. Well, yeah. I, I really like appreciate this. the... Uh, like this, even. That's very close. Right, that's, yeah, that's very bloody close. close, mate. Is that why that you can sit on the couch together every week and not have any issues? Uh, right, I think we should watch some more clips. Yeah, we don't need to get into that. Thanks. Okay, well, yeah. this, is, uh, this is that being sensitive. Hey. Oh, he's going... Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. It was so sad. <laughs> It's okay, <laughs> Okay, so so that makes a little more sense. You you were really only sensitive just that once. Right, I was sensitive right in this area here. Yeah, well, That's where it well, was. aren't we all? Yeah. Um. Now, Dap, you're a lot of things on the show. I mean, you have a very dynamic character as the uh, as the host of this show. Um, co-host, co-host. He's a sh he's a host too. 
Well, are you not both co-hosts? Well, yeah. Or you but share. Well, the title, co-ho- is, the title is co-host. co-host. Right. So I can't refer to each of you as a host individually. Well, we, well I mean, you could, but we prefer co-host. Co-host. You prefer co-host? Yes. Yeah, right. Okay, so you like to, to have each other included down to even the, the title that you're given for this. We like to keep it even, yeah. yeah. As much as possible. Truly a team effort. That is, that is touching, really. Mm. Now, now, Depp, what other, what other roles <laughs> as, as co-host do you play on this? Um, uh, well, uh, I think I'm sort of, a, sort of the, uh, the, the comedy aspect of it sometimes. Because Dane, he can be a real deadpan, mm-hmm. sort of straight man. And it's real yeah. good the way we play off each other yeah. sometimes. So um, I think sometimes I just like to bring a little humor to it. Because um, a lot of people don't understand British comedy. But I try to take uh, American comedy and, and make it happen. Now, a lot of people have come to me and told me that they, uh, they were quite impressed with actually how smart you were. Oh, Right, is it because I'm black? Is that what it is? Well, I think that's probably it. Oh, well, um, they can f- off. That's all I have to say to anyone who thinks. Yes, it's it's unfortunate when anyone would play that race card. It's right. it's um truly it's deplorable. a bloody shame. It really is. Truly I thought deplorable. this was a, this was the land of the free here. Yes. Yeah. How many brave? But do you ever try to work that intellect into the show? Um, sometimes I try to be I try to be smart. I try to um. I really try it's to all bring, about the wit. Right, right. It's got, the wit. It's, it's got to be. It's got to be funny, mm-hmm. but it's yeah. got to be on another level. You yeah. know, you can't just be farting about and you know uh, saying balls and things like that. You got to bring it to another level that that people understand and people really, uh, really, really feel. You know, it's got to be smart. It's got to be smart. So would you say that the the intellect here is actually something that comes from within you? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you hold that thought and let's find out exactly how smart is Depp? I think we can say the other two on Pepperdine. Too. I don't think so either. Whoa. See, now his form was all bad. You've got to stabilize with your thumb when you sit on the rail. That's an important, important part. Exactly. Rocky Vix. That's five to the ninth power, which is actually one million nine hundred and fifty-three thousand uh, one hundred and twenty-five. That's crazy. Yeah, I did the math. Eight. Whoa. There are look the brothers. The Wait. brothers, like ten of them. One, two, three, four, five. There's one here. Nine. Wait, there's one. Okay. Did you, did you know that pickles come from cucumbers? It's a little known fact. Tell all your friends. Okay, I think... I think he just traded his girlfriend for a jar of pickles. I think the pickle in this case really symbolizes something much deeper. Like, I, I think it's more than just a, more than just a phallic veggie preserved in brine. I think it's, it symbolizes the salty, sometimes sweet, bumpy little enigma of it that we call true love. I think I understand this. Question. That's amazing, Dab. Yeah. <gasps> that was the sign that all the cars had yield to her car that was stopped in the middle of the road. So that's why she didn't get hit. I figured it out. I'm still lost. I'll, I'll tell you. Wow. You know, actually, no, Dab. I, I didn't know that pickles came from cucumbers. Now you know. Thank you for yeah. enlightening me. Well. We have another very, very intelligent individual on with us tonight. In Thank fact, you. we have our video expert, not, not you, Kepka. On the other side, no. we have Miss Erin Bundra. Erin, how did you become the video expert? Um, just randomly, the director or producer just decided to put me on one day. So, yeah, no big story behind that. So how much preparation goes into, uh, into your, your very informative segment each week? Um... Not much, just a couple minutes of going over what I need to talk about, and then I just go on. I mean, it's only 30 seconds long, so. But that's an action-packed 30 seconds. I mean, you really do (laughs) a a wonderful job of taking a ton of information and condensing it and spewing it back out to our audience in that 30 seconds. What, um, What is it that inspires you to do this? Where do you decide what segments that you're going to do the, the video expert on each week? Well, it helps looking over the video clips and knowing what's in there. And then it's just like you have to have a passion for it and just go with it. Passion is very important, Kafka. Don't you think so as well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, how do, have you seen Aaron as the uh, video expert? No. No. So you couldn't comment on uh, her ability to, to disseminate knowledge on the rest of us? I don't think that sounds like a good thing to do to anyone. <laughs> it could be dangerous, but Aaron, you do it well. Oh, well, thank you. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what exactly the video expert does. All 
Okay, so today we're going to talk about rack focus. You saw this on the rake time um, video. And so what rack focus is, is if you have people down here in the foreground, and then let's say there's some objects here in the background, and these will be out of focus, but these will be in focus, so you're going to adjust the camera focus so that these end up coming into focus, and the foreground goes out of focus. So that is rack focus. And let's see it once more. OK, so today we're talking about layers. And with layers, say your, first, your background shot is the chapel. And you take a plain shot of the chapel, bring your actor in keeping the camera stationary, have him sit in different spots, walk down the aisle, whatever. Have him go out, change clothes, bring it, him back in, do the same thing, but in different positions. Then you'll go to the editing bay, bring in the different video tracks, layer them over each other, and that way you'll have different hosts, um, multiple hosts, and that's layering. We are talking about chroma key, and in chroma key, you're going to choose a background, either blue or green usually, and right now we have green, and so what you do for chroma key is you're going to choose a foreground image and a background image. And the background image gets fed into the program feed, and the um, foreground image goes into the alternate or preview feed, and so then what happens is that the background image will end up covering anything that's green in the foreground image. And so then, that's chroma key, and that's how you have things like floating heads. And hi, Taylor, how are you? OK, so, oh, and look, we have a weather report. It looks like it's going to be like in the 60s all week. And here's the PCH, too. And um, what else do we have? Yeah, mid-60s. Um, freeways are probably crowded as usual. And did you have anything you wanted to add, Taylor? I don't have the microphone. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, so that's Chroma Key. And have a great life and enjoy the nice weather. That was, that was truly enlightening, Miss Bundra. Um, what exactly did you, did you pull out of this being the video expert? Um. I think it's been good. It's helped me in front of the camera and um, helped me employ more video expertise. Yes. D D yeah. yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I th take the time to thank you. I mean, you did a great job. I was just wondering, I mean, I've always had a question since I saw that clip. Um, now, rack focus. Now, what exactly, I mean, is that the same thing as a rack focus or is that something that is, I mean, Right, that's a beautiful you technique. Said, you said rack focus, but or it is said it rack I don't, I don't think that we can truly give her a hard time for, oh, for some issues with the blackboard. I mean, blackboards right, are tough the to write on. Technical difficulty I mean, with that's the blackboard. Why we've been, we've that's been, why we switched to whiteboards, ladies no, we, and gentlemen, well, right? Yeah. Now in, in, in the classroom. In, in the century we're now living in, we, we typically yeah. use uh, You're anti-black everything, aren't you? Yeah. Why do you have to take it back to black shirts? You had to go that way. I didn't go there, he did. He likes the white over the black. I told you I hate it when people play the race yeah, card. Yeah, whatever. You do it all the time. <sighs> well, anyway. You know what? You know what? You're not perfect, okay? There have been so many screw-ups in this show, and they're always y'all's fault. Do you know that? No, not always. No, actually, I think, no, I think I quite think, a bit is I think technical. we're going to see this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see this. There's quite a bit of times there's oh, yeah. been technical difficulties that we've had to deal with professionally e on this exactly, show. Exactly, exactly. So you, you actually... make it tough to work here. You, yeah. You, want, you know what? You make it tough. We're going to rework the contract. We're pulling a T.O. Exactly. We're pulling a T.O. I'm not I'm playing. Walking. Yeah, how did that work out for T.O., huh? He might go to Dallas. Yeah. That would be a truly unfortunate situation. All right, well. But you know what? I think, I think we need to actually take a second and go back and look at what happened and see exactly how you managed to screw up every single show. Let's see. No, see, no. I think we, we did a wow. good job. I think you know, we did this, pretty colors. I, uh, the... It kind of eats my head right there, doesn't it? It does. Look at that. Yeah. Kind Ooh. of a goofy little yeah. reaction there. Yeah. I don't know. I'll stick with the black and white. <laughs> All right. I'll leave that one there. I don't want to touch it. Um, this reminds me of those gay pride bumper stickers. <laughs> that one's really good. Oh, that'll yeah. go. Oh. Oh. Um. You know, oh, I'm choking on a kernel. This is, yeah, just be careful. This is butter, but I kind of like the, uh, the kettle corn. 
The kettle corn is good. The and you know what? You can pick it. Can't you get it in the in the hawk now? Yeah, I yeah. Can. Actually, how fantastic is fantastic. that? Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, that's, that's a, new, a word. new word. That's a PTN new word. Of the started day. on PTN, ladies and gentlemen. PTN word. Of you the write day. that down. Fantastic. You write that down. Fantastic. Yeah. It's you know, uh, you eat it with the popcorn. That's the whole key. It's they're getting the fantastic. It's, it's when when kettle corn is so good, it's not fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. fantastic. To be honest, I think we're um, we're stretching for time right now. I think we are too. I think that's what we're doing. So but the viewers at home like have no idea what's going on because they're just like see, waiting. What you guys don't understand is there's a whole team of people. A whole thing. Bringing Pe Pepperdine Television, as you can see, Pepperdine Television Network, right there. which is what you were watching, bringing it to you. Yeah. Really funny. Oh, phenomena. Phenomena. This is the one. I've been looking forward to this one. Is that a giant dog? I think that we've seen that dog before, actually. I've totally seen that dog before. And what the hell was that? Dude, I've still got 45 minutes. Go away. Oh. Even though love can, can break, break hearts, hearts, love can move mountains. Love can do anything. Dab. Anything. Anything you put your heart to. Because it's got the love. Might seem too fast if others look at it. Depends how you like it. <laughs> I know what I see. And I see Pokemon sitting next to you. <laughs> I've never known anyone nicer than you. Just because my heart tells me so, it might not be enough. But these pictures behind me are awesome. But I'm still sure that it must be you. My heart is telling me in a strange way that it's happy. <laughs> I'm confused. Who was that? I've never really No, understood. that's him. That's the Pokemon. Okay. Mom. So she's got a thing for him? He sent her the card? <laughs> is that? It's possible. I don't understand. So how is it that you can come up with words like fantastic and get away with it? It's the it's the comic genius. It's it, just innate in our our world of fact fact tacticness. I can't even say the word. I just created another one right there. Fact tactic. Look at that. Fact so, tactic. Yeah. What is exactly? What is the difference between fan tactic and fact tactic? Fan tactic is fantastic, but even better. Fact tactic is the fact of being. Fact tactic. Fan tactic. Right. Well, That's speak, what it is. Well, speaking of fan fan tactic things, uh, we have Micah Kafka here with us and. And Kafka, you actually found yourself in a number of episodes of PTN, or, or was it just one that you absolutely controlled? What was that? Now, you made it into PTN a couple times this year, is that correct? Um, it is still January. No, it's, it, it's November. Okay, right, yeah, I did. Okay, it's still 2005. And right, yeah, yeah, I did. Now... You you used to produce this, right? Yes. You're a strange fellow. I not. I think I think I like it. I really do. Okay, then I am. Yeah. Now I must say I am I am confused because um I'm not used to seeing you with with your shirt on. Why? Can you explain to us why it was that on that first episode you had to uh, you had to take your shirt off? Um. Well, it just is it. It didn't like me anymore, so I killed it. Okay, well, you know, I think we're going to actually have a second and, and look at what happened. No. No, no. I have a feeling we're not. <laughs> now who screwed up? Why don't you show ah! us what happened? Why don't you what? show us what happened, what? Kafka? You How know what? You, like you know what? This wouldn't have happened. There wouldn't have been a screw-up if y'all weren't sitting here next to me. Hey. Oh, please. Point of, I don't want to play the blame game. Hey. Right. I do. Hey, oh, you you'll, watch you'll play the race game it. all day long, but this then you hard. won't play the blame game. I think hard. we need to wrap things up here. You know what? It's been a wonderful episode of PTN. Thank you so much, everybody. Yep. Okay, half of you for joining me. Uh, I hope everyone else has a wonderful Christmas break. And uh, we'll be back. Just, just get us out of here. Nipples! Nipples! <laughs> <laughs> get. <laughs> I'll show it.